Welcome everyone to my channel. This video is going to be demonstrating the older circuit that I had uh, where I just used three batteries um, to use Tessa's uh, transfer of power. Rather than using up your energy, you can recycle it, um, you know, a large percentage of it anyways. And so in this scenario here in the schematic, um, which my old uh, test ran for 275 days the power from these three batteries being that they're the same capacity as these batteries transfers through the LED and so the light from the LED becomes a byproduct of the energy transferring and not as much as is used as would normally be if the positive uh, line ran to the diode and then or the LED sorry and then back to the negative of this battery bank and that would deplete all of that power until it could no longer light up in this scenario not all of that power is being wasted and it transfers to this bank of batteries so uh, there's an easy uh, diagram to sort of help explain what's happening here with the with the three batteries on this side they are connected in series which accumulates their voltage so we've got 1.2 volts 2.4 3.6 volts um, so that's basically what's happening there they're connected in series creating 3.6 volts which is a higher potential or higher voltage than these three batteries okay so basically electricity in this case is acting like water and wanting to go to the lower potential going to ground um, so it it has a tendency to come from this 3.6 volts and drain through our load our, our light is here or you can also place it here okay and it comes through the load to equalize out to the lower potential because we've got three batteries here and three batteries here and all batteries are of the same capacity there's enough storage capacity in this set to drain the batteries from this set so the energy can be transferred and accumulated here uh, so you can do that with 12 volts as well uh, I'll just leave that there to show you how you can connect up a 12 volt system um, but what I want to show today is uh, a new version I've been working on um, which is the beauty of these AA batteries because uh, they you know, are a smaller voltage um, and obviously small capacity in the past they've not really been that practical to use because their energy is depleted quite quickly and you have to recharge them it can take 12 to 14 hours to recharge a standard AA battery um, to do it properly without damaging it and so you've got this downtime uh, for the product that you're trying to run in this case we've got a four and a half volt LED it's actually a head torch I just picked it, it as like three dollars um, and all I've done here is connected it normally takes AAA batteries but um, they're in series so we have again three point um, three point five volts oh, sorry four point five volts is what what would be um, generated by those three 1.5 volt batteries in series so we end up with 4.5 volts here and I've basically connected positive to the only terminal that's by itself which is the positive terminal and then to the negative terminal and so you don't need to fill in these these blanks here because that's what this central battery does it connects that battery to that battery so that's all that is that's in series that's a um, four and a half volt light 
and so we're going to use these batteries here that I've got in series and they will transfer power through the LED into these four batteries that are all in parallel uh, if you look at the bottom of that screen there I, I've joined all of those batteries in parallel from this side and then I've connected the run battery bank which is this side the series battery bank to the parallel battery bank via the negatives okay so they are just twisted together there uh, wrong way okay so well no it was the right way okay just excuse me all right so they are crudely twisted together there now basically the so the negatives are connected connected and now the light in this as it is in this diagram is running between the positives you see the positives on this side on the series side and the positives on the parallel side these two jumper leads alligator leads one is connected to the positives on the parallel battery bank and the positive line for the light is connected to the positive of the series bank so we'll turn that on okay and that gives you rather than uh, depleting your energy that will um, transfer it so it's a decent light and you can save yourself some money by not having to recharge that um you know you could have that as a night light I, i'd probably disassemble the actual head torch and make it into a convenient um situation you know hot glue the um hot glue the battery banks together tidy up the wires make it a more functionable functional device um but yeah that's that's price that's as basic as it gets i don't think um you know in all my research i don't think i found a circuit that is so easy to produce uh and 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 so versatile you know we're in the last version we was only using the three batteries which gave us 3.6 now these having four together is giving us um I believe they're 1.2 volts yeah so we're getting uh, 4.8 volts there which is the perfect amount for running this little head torch which runs on 4.5 again the main main um, fact to consider here is that we're not using as much of this power anymore we're transferring it so it, it really is truly green yeah, that's about as green as it gets really green energy um you know so maybe if if we adopted this method which is so easily um integrated into all of the other systems that we already have it it's not it's not creating coils it's not creating f high frequencies this is something a five-year-old could do there's no deception here prove this to yourself have a go at it you can you can go as high as you want as far as voltage this is um, a 12 volt double a battery holder um, I'm not even sure they make them anymore if they do you know that that would allow you to run 12 volt um, or, or 6 volt appliances uh, by having uh, having the ability to place uh, another 12 batteries on this side uh, all in parallel and you'd be transferring um, a 6 volt uh, load then so yeah it's it's just a very very simple way to um, save some of your money all right thanks for watching have a nice day